Welcome to Shorts in Psychology. Today I'll be describing validity and reliability, followed by some relevant past exam questions. Reliability refers to a test's consistency. Does the test have the ability to yield the same results under a variety of similar circumstances? For example, if a person weighs themselves during the course of a day, they would expect to see a similar reading. Scales which measured weight differently each time would be considered to be unreliable. Factors that can influence reliability include the testing conditions, how the test is administered and its objectivity. A test is objective if it yields the same score no matter who checks it or even if it is checked at different times. Reliability can be visualised using the game of darts. The first dartboard, A, is reliable because all of the darts are together. The thrower is consistent and therefore reliable. Likewise, board B is also reliable because the darts landed together and are consistent. It is important to note that although board B is reliable, it is not valid because the darts did not hit the bullseye in the centre. However, more about validity in a moment. Board C is not reliable because the darts are all over the board. It is not consistent. Validity refers to the accuracy of the measurement, i.e. the measurement used is accurately measuring what it is intended to. There are many different types of validity. At this stage, you just need to know what internal and external validity are. External validity is the extent to which the results of a research study can be generalised to different situations, different groups of people, different settings or different conditions. Internal validity is the extent to which the changes in the study dependent variable can be attributed to the changes in the independent variable. So a study with high internal validity is free from flaws and any differences in a measurement are due to the independent variable and nothing else. If we assess this example's study validity, its internal validity has been increased due to the use of random allocation and environmental variables were controlled. External validity, or the ability to apply the results to the real world, has been increased by using different people and places. Carrying out the experiment across a whole year also increased the external validity of the results, as well as their reliability. Let's finish by looking at a few past exam questions on validity and reliability. Pause the video while you read through this question and attempt to answer it. This question is worth four marks, which means you need two connected well-made points. As you're being asked to explain why the measurements were reliable but not valid, one of your points should relate to reliability, the other to validity. Before we answer the question, it's important to point out that in the exam, the question will usually simply refer to validity rather than specifying a particular kind. Therefore, it is important to read the question carefully and ensure that you are discussing an appropriate type of validity. In this question, you want to discuss the internal validity of the measure. So in answering the question, you would want to say that as reliability is the consistency of the measure, the monitor is reliable as it is yielding similar measurements of 5 beats per minute higher each time. However, it's not valid as the monitor is not measuring what it is intended to. Instead of measuring what the heart rate truly is, it is making inaccurate measurements that are 5 beats per minute higher than they should be. Pause the video to take a minute to read through this question and attempt both parts A and B. Although in part A you've been given three lines, the question starts with the word state, which means that no explanation or definition is required. Therefore, all you need to do is write one objective quantitative measure that could be used to measure stress levels. One example of a measure that could be used would be heart rate. However, you could list others such as measuring cortisol levels, breathing rate or perspiration. For the sake of part B, I'm going to assume that the answer for part A is heart rate. Because part B says describe one factor that could affect the reliability of this measure, your answer in B needs to be consistent with A. So if we've written heart rate as being an objective quantitative measure for stress levels in A, we're describing a factor that could lower its reliability in part B. Obviously stress levels is not the only thing that could increase someone's heart rate. 
which means that if you're measuring the worker's heart rate on different occasions, their heart rates are probably going to be different each time, depending on a variety of circumstances. While one of these could be stress, it could be that the worker simply had a cup of coffee before one measurement, but perhaps not the other. It could also be things like the fact that they're factory workers, so if the position that they're in involves a lot of physical activity, it could be that this is what's responsible for elevating their heart rate. Ultimately, whatever factor you describe, again, needs to be something that's plausible in relation to the measurement you chose for A. We've already examined the first part of this question in the investigation designs video. Today I would like you to pause the video to reread the scenario and attempt part B. In answering this question, you could discuss either external or internal validity. If we start with internal validity, you would need to suggest an improvement that makes uniform colour a more valid measure of the probability of winning sports matches. For example, only using teams that play the same grade of football, so that all teams have a similar level of skill. Alternatively, an improvement to increase the external validity of the results could be suggested. The psychologists only gathered one season's data and from only 10 teams. Therefore, increasing the sample size to include more football teams or gathering data from more than one season would increase the external validity of the results. Thanks for listening and I hope this video has been useful.